guys so this is the peace and blessings embroidery kit video or tutorial um, sorry that I'm just now starting to record after clearly I almost finished the skeleton and the sunglasses but good news is everything you see so far stitch was done with one stitch only and that is the back stitch um, including the sunglasses so yeah we will continue on and move forward so I am using three strands of black DMC embroidery floss and I'm going to continue using that for the entirety of the skeleton except for the small details on the face. Um, the teeth, I'm going to use one strand and um, the little like line dimples on the forehead. I believe I used two strands. You could totally use two, three, or even one strand, whatever you prefer. But I just liked having that dimension there. Also, um, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, um, the pattern that I transferred this on, I used Sulky Fabri-Solvi, which is just a printable um, type of stabilizer that you can print your pattern on, and then it just peels off on the back and you stick it on your fabric. So I printed the skeleton portion onto that, and then after I started stitching, I decided I was just gonna draw the lotus flower using a heat erasable pen. Okay, so now you are going to see me stitching the teeth. And this is where I uh, switched to one strand of DMC black floss. Um, that's just because it's such a small portion of the pattern. It's a very fine detail. If I were to use anything more than one strand, it would probably just look like a hot mess you know blob express so that that is why I chose one strand here and I would highly suggest suggest that at least for the teeth um, everything else you know stick with two to three strand, strands and you'll be just fine Okay guys, so this final stitch we are going to use for the entire lotus flower and it is called the reverse chain stitch. Um, it looks kind of daunting, but once you start, it really isn't that bad at all. So as you see me here, I'm gonna bring my needle up and then I'm not gonna pierce back down through the fabric. I'm gonna go back through my previous stitch and then I'm gonna go down to where I've initially brought the needle up and that's going to going to complete the chain and you just repeat that until you um, reach the bottom of your desired line and when you put the needle back down through the fabric like that that's how you would end it as well when you get to the end of your line so I'll just shut up here so you can watch
thank you guys so much for watching along. Um, I hope this video helped you. Please comment, let me know if, what I can do to make it better, things you like, things you didn't like, and as always, please like and subscribe. Let me know you're loving the journey. Thanks, bye-bye.